Previously in part one, I went out with Albany Four Wheel Drive Club, had a very wet experience in Redmond State Forest, and then I continued my journey with my mate Paul in Mount Lindsay National Park, WA. All right, good day, guys. Uh, so that basically concludes the Redmond run. Uh, it was such a good day today. Uh, it was probably the, the, the wettest Redmond run I've ever done. Last time was the wettest, but uh, this time it's even worse. Uh, so I managed to got stuck and put out the winch, snatch recovery, everything. We, we basically did every single thing. Um, and I, I'm very glad that I helped someone to uh, to get home because the car was uh, wasn't able to start and um, uh, had to tow him home. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I, I found myself very helpful, and I'm very glad uh, to do that. Uh, now I'm going to camping. Uh, there's a bit of an after party. Uh, you notice I, I've packed up everything this morning, or actually uh, my, my car is, is loaded with camping gears, um, and I'm actually. Planned, uh, I've actually planned to go camping. So in a very beautiful spot with a bit of a water pool next to it, um, hope it will be a nice day. So we've just driven through, um, I, I've met my mate in BCF back in Albany, and um, uh, we, are, uh, we are in, we, we just went past Denmark, and um, so when we reach there, we'll, we'll catch up with you again. I'm so glad that lights have improved since I was a kid. Mate, my high beams are shocking. Night driving is always a bit of an adventure for me. I do like night driving because everything makes... Uh, it feels like you're driving into the forest at night time. Things are getting more and more interesting. Uh, so, well... It's got dark and uh, we will soon be in the campsite. Um, I'm, I'm kind of excited. I'm very excited. Once again we arrived at the campsite at dark, it was a pretty cold night that night so we quickly get a fire going and set up our camp. Alright, so we are now at the campsite, uh, our beautiful campsite, we can't see how beautiful it is at the moment, uh, because obviously for, for this obvious reason, um, now, so we are going to set up now. It is going to be great. So Paul is trying to show, uh, trying to show his new awning proudly. Let's check this out. That rope helped. Yeah, absolutely. It's a little bit dark in here, but it should be all good. All right, so here we go. We have our camp set up. That's that's Paul's setup, by the way, and that's my setup. A good old cot tent with a bit of um, yellow, sort of orangey light, uh, with my seventy, uh, uh, sorry, two hundred and seventy degrees ostrich awning and my my draw system. That's it. Basically, nothing special. Now this is going to be different. Check this out. Look at Paul's Michael's setup. That's a, basically a pull-out kitchen that he has he has worked for like uh, half a year, and then um, of of course with my help. Without my help, it will be a whole bloody year. Um, the stove, pull-out table. Look at that. It's just Smeko, isn't it? And um, the uh, the slide in and out pantry. Uh, I'm sure we can see this in action. Uh, and and all the all the bloody crap inside. Yeah, 
And this is just awesome. Look at this person. I mean, Paul is definitely someone who knows how to enjoy the enjoy life and and send a wife bloody going going earn money, and and <laughs> and himself just just you know come out and explore the world. Um, yeah. Anyway, cooking session starts. Radio.、Uh, welcome to Paul's kitchen.、Um, so tonight I'm going to cook this little、uh, dish called. Minced pork,、uh, tomato, tomato, and、uh, thick chop, whatever、um, mushroom pasta. So it's very, very simple. Basically, all you, you mix everything together. You heat up this first.、Um, so the fire is on. Oh, that's that's a pretty strong fire. How's that? And you turn it down by going this way. That's right. Yep, that's right. The fire needed. Yeah, cooking oil, mate. No. Okay, now I've got my cooking oil, extra virgin、uh, olive spray. I'm not sure if it's actually exactly for cooking, but better than none. This is some oil, very nicely. All you need to do is some knife. All right, we've got、uh, this is a minced pork. Isn't it fantastic? Very simple, and、uh, all you need to do is to. Chuck them in with clean hands. Yes,、uh, my hands have been washed, so they're all good. It's pretty big, isn't it?、I'm、not sure if we can actually finish this, but、um, so、right, we'll call the neighbours. <laughs> yeah. So this will be something that you, it's very easy to make in the campsite, and、uh, probably you can feed a, quite quite a few big blocks、uh, from it. Now,、um, all I need to do is to wait for it to char and.、Um, Fire a little bit. You need to wait for it to what? Char. Oh, you mean brown? Yeah.、Oh, okay. That's how Asians call it, mate. Is it? Yeah.、Oh, okay. I've never heard it called that.、Yeah. Char. Okay. Yeah. And I smell smell、um, olive oil. That's really nice. And, and are you sure that's olive oil and not underarm deodorant? <laughs> And, and, and I tell you, this is extra virgin, so I can smell it. So, is that different to normal virgin oil? Um, extra. It's extra virgin. Yeah. So, whatever virgin is, is just a little bit extra. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's definitely better. All right. You want some salt and pepper? We do. Back to back to Paul's kitchen. I've got these little gadgets here that I got I got from a very famous local store. I'm not going to name it.、Uh, so all you need to do is to do this、uh, with the salt. And the good thing about this, it goes on.、Oh, that's aluminium. It's no good. <laughs>、uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that will do. Oh look at that. Yeah. Look at that. It sticks on the, my door. Yeah, exactly. Where else would you put it? Of course. I don't know. So uh, well. This thing usually works really well, but not for the pepper.、Uh, I think that's enough pepper. All right. Oh, maybe a little bit more pepper. A little bit more, man. Oh, that's rubbish. Don't worry about that. Yeah, we'll we'll pick up. We'll we'll、uh, we'll promise to take the rubbish away, so campsite stays open. Exactly. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, it smells nice. And that's only、like、the pork. That's only the <laughs> that's only the meat so far.、Yeah. Right. Just a bit of low fire, which is what I want. Okay. Just wait for the pork to start getting a little bit cooked. Then we can add all the other ingredients. Good. All right. So I believe we need a little bit more salt because we haven't got other stuff. So、uh, a little bit of salt is always good,、uh, not for the health, but. My head hurts. Good <laughs> <Still> on ya. <laughs> so、um, yeah, behind the scene, Paul just hit his head、uh, with this new pull-out kitchen. So that wasn't that wasn't a hit. That was a wallop. <laughs>、uh, I have no bloody idea what it means, but、uh, it hurt. Okay. So yeah, God bless.、Uh, now, so what we need to do is to add all the other stuff. So very easy. Just a good old can of, of tomato. And、uh, tomato is actually good to stay in for a little bit longer. 
uh, because at the end of it, when it gets really, really well coat, uh, it releases uh, some sweetness. So um, tomato is good, and we have this mushroom. One good old can of that, with the moisture, absolutely smackle. Oh, that mushroom smells nice. The pasta sauce. Yeah, not the whole jar. Yeah, that will do. Gee, that, that, that's a, mate, that'll feed the whole army, that one. Yeah, give it a good old mix. Is your head still hurts? Yes, my head does hurt. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm glad the stove's bolted down. <laughs> So this, this will be a really good meal and very easy as well, good for camping. And well, uh, this. are we going to boil some water for the pasta? No, we are not. We're not? Because it's got water in there. We are just adding oh, the pasta. Okay, clever. Directly. So you don't have to wash so many dishes. That's better. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's cute. A, that's, a, that's a clam. Uh, uh, you've got to give some credits for my wife. Some cute stuff. Uh, do you reckon that's enough pasta? Oh no, you put it all in. Put it all in? Yeah. Have we got a container to put it in if we don't need it all? Alright, so we might need a little bit more moisture. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just add some moisture in. Uh, look at how uh, that's basically the consistency you're, trying, you're, you're looking for. Uh, oh, there is a moth in there. Anyway. <laughs> a bit of protein. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, there we go. That's uh, doesn't look very nice, but this is what we eat tonight. That's a really good uh, camping meal. I used to spend a lot more on my. Good morning, day two at campsite. Uh, so basically what we've been, what we've been doing, we just woke up and um, trying to make breakfast and look at Paul, Paul's busy preparing, uh, well, already started packing, maybe he knows that he's going to take a long time to pack up. Anyway, uh, so preparing breakfast and um, that's our basically our setup. Uh, it was such a good night last night, uh, a little bit cold. Um, yeah, what I'm doing at the moment, basically, Trying, trying to clean some dishes um, and uh, well, open up the tent and allow some condensation escape. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called Miller's Basin. It's a magical spot. Um, and later, we are going to check out, uh, not sure if you can see this. Oh, yes, you can. Um, there's a bit of a water hole, a uh, little bit of a swimming pool there. We're not going to swim in such cold weather. Yes, you are. Uh, no, we are not. Well, maybe you can. Well, I can make breakfast you. You, you swim. No, 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 no. Look at that. You, you I swim. make breakfast. No. You go for a swim. No. How's that? No. Anyway, so we're not going going to go for a swim, but we'll check check the swimming, uh, the natural water pool out, um, and uh, <laughs> take some photos. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is Miller's Basin. It's pretty wet in, in here at this time of the year, but it is a beautiful spot. It's beautiful. Now, I, uh, you reckon this is natural, isn't it? It's, yes. Yeah, it's a natural scenery. It's n no, no one, I believe, no one has actually been involved in building this. 
Isn't it wonderful? Oh jeez, yeah, I was going to yeah this is absolutely awesome mate this is definitely one of the moments that you will lose all your words such a beautiful scenery right in front of you Ladies and gentlemen, we definitely have to preserve and treasure what we have got in Western Australia. This is just beautiful and untouched. Meanwhile, we started packing uh, and we have to continue our journey to our last destination, the Possum Trapper What's Cave. What's our plan now? We are heading towards the east to get a Possum Trappers. Yes. Yeah, great. Okay. You know where that is. Yeah, I know where that is. Okay, right. But to do that, we have to drive through this Mount Lindsay forest. Once we reach the end of it, we can check out this historical cave. So good old man coming through this way. This is his turn now. After this small tiny puddle and cross this uh, tiny little rock, uh, the, the log, but um, it's deceivingly small. It's actually um, it's able to, it's, it's tall enough to hit your, uh, your door seal. So how, see how this old man handles. Oh, beautiful. He did, he did sidestep, but that's all right. That's totally, totally cool. More berries? Oh, stop there, stop there. All right. Go back a little bit. Yeah. Right here. Okay, good, good. Beautiful. Now look at this suspicious looking mud hole. It looks deeper than, it's, than it looks. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't, uh, couldn't quite um, uh, film my footage. I just attempted it. All right, good old boy is going to give it a bit of berries. Done. Uh, there is this uh, suspicion, suspicion, suspicious looking mud hole in the front. Uh, the first one shouldn't be too bad, but the uh, second one might be a little bit deep. Let's uh, have a look and check it out. Alright ladies and gentlemen, before tackling these sort of uh, obstacles, it is always good to uh, grab a stick from the side and have a good old poke to see how deep things are. Oh, the, the one in the front looks suspicious. Uh, doesn't look that bad because you've got grass in the middle. But again, it could also mean it is a swampy, swampy obstacle. So look at this suspicious looking mud hole. Uh, test it through it. It should be okay. And Paul is going to go through this one.
and that moves quick. <laughs> Very quick now. It's gone. Oh, interesting. I've got some ants on me. Oh, hey, swimming spider. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we are basically at the entry of the Possum Trapper Cave Trap. That's Paul, by the way. Um, we're just having a bit of lunch, pull, uh, pull up a little bit uh, because we uh, we need a bit of refreshment. It's always a it's always a good idea because you don't want to get tired when we drive a little bit too long. Stay tuned. Finally, we have arrived this possum trapper destination. This is so bloody good, awesome. Look at that flex. Now, ladies and gentlemen, check this out. Possum Trapper's uh, Cave, I think is how you, how you call it. We are actually inside a cave. <laughs> Far out, this is an awesome place. This and is you can probably hear the echo in this cave. It's a pretty small cave, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, can stand up? I can. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Far out, this is unreal. Then you can check this out. I mean, if you if somebody's in trouble, you can probably just come in all the way the tracks in here and just sleep overnight. Well, you could. Yeah, yeah, far up. This is so unreal. I can't believe such place still, still exists. I can't believe that it's so clean. It is just fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. When you guys and, and ladies as well, uh, when you come to a really beautiful campsite, make sure you preserve it. And it is definitely worth it. Um, it prevents places from closing down. And uh, it is just unreal. Spectacular. Sensational. What do you say? It's just. Far out. And the view. Look at the view. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is, it is. Yeah, although. Although it actually required a bit of a hike, uh, you need some physical um, strength or dexterity to get up here. Otherwise, uh, well, you're taking a, taking a bit of risk falling down the hill. Um, it's, it's actually quite treacherous and dangerous. But um, if you can make it, it's all worth it. You just have to be careful. Yeah, absolutely. Alright ladies and gentlemen, um, that basically concludes our trip. Uh, Paul didn't join me earlier in the Albany Cup Club run. Uh, it was, it was, an, it was a, an unforgettable experience, it was uh, really good. You get stuck, you learn how to get unstuck and uh, I've learned so much in Redmond. Um, it's probably the wettest Redmond I've seen. And uh, the whole idea is you assess tra the track carefully, remove all obstacles before you start attempting. And obviously the most important thing is to have a recovery plan so things won't turn into pear shape. Uh, and then the second day, it was so wonderful, met up with Paul. And then uh, we went to a really nice camp spot and have a really good night. Um, that's just unreal. Wasn't it? Well, very nice. Yeah, very yeah. Nice. Well, what do you what do you think about this? This here. Is, oh yeah. Well, whatever. Yeah. This here is just words. It's, Paul lost all his I'm words. I'm lost for words. It's yeah, just so beautiful. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It is indeed. Um, yeah. This forest is a bit of a mystery. Always has been a bit of a mystery. Uh, because I, well, I've been here for quite quite a few times, and I've no idea there's such a place. 
such a treasure and we um as as australian we uh we have a responsibility to protect uh things that we have in here so things can pass down from generation to the next and um i think we we have been doing it pretty well i think so yeah 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 well good haven't to see been, you here paul haven't been destroying it too much <laughs> <laughs> taking no. out more rubbish <laughs> yeah yeah and um yeah we we did see signs of rubbish and and uh, that's fine. We'll we'll pick it up for um, well, people just left left there and maybe by mistake. And yeah, when we saw anything, we just pick it up. So all good. Very good to see you after tracks. Um, until next time. Yeah, until next time. Awesome. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at four by four adventure wa. I'll see you there. If you have any suggestion to the video, please comment down below.